Hmm. Hmm. So it says we're live, so um, welcome guys, welcome to another episode from BitGlen. My name's Glenn, this is my cryptocurrency journey through the world of uh, cryptocurrencies. I said that wrong. And I'm blogging every day, um, almost every day, uh, my sort of journey and what I'm doing right, what wrong, and what I'm learning as I go along. So I invite you to join me on that journey. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel, help it grow, and also um, give this video a thumbs up if you like this content. If you want to chat to me outside of these YouTube videos, you can contact me via Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all with the name BitGlen. Uh, but the most popular way actually is the dis Telegram Super Chat, which is down below. Someone commented saying, Glenn, you're referring to Telegram as Super Chat. Um, but that's actually the YouTube donation chat or something like that. But when you have a Telegram chat, uh, I think once you get more than four people in the chat, you have to convert it into what they call a Super Chat. I don't know why they call it that. Um and then that means anyone can just join in. And that's what we've got. We've got a super chat. Um, so that means anyone can jump into the chat and start commenting. As long as there's no shilling and um, paid promotional stuff and uh, scams that I particularly think of that people are talking about a lot. But that's the most popular way. The Telegram group chat, which is in the uh, description down below. Click on the link and you can join the group. There's about 140 of us in there. So today actually is one of the first episodes that I'm bringing you properly from the, I don't know what to call it, Bit Cave, um, Crypto Cave, um, I'm not too sure, but basically you can see here, um, I now have lighting, I now have plug sockets, which means <laughs> I can actually put my laptop on charge. Oh, that's right. I did do one episode out here, but uh, the uh, I had to basically end the video when, whenever my um, laptop went out of charge. So uh, yeah, that was all good fun. So I'm actually getting this set up now. A couple of things before we get into the main video um, that I need to address quite quickly is that this is just a wooden chip. Um, these are just slats that are all put together, so that means there's a lot of gaps. Um, it's it's moisture free, like you there's no water that leaks in here. But I can hear everything that's going on outside, so I assume everything that wants to listen in can hear what I'm saying. I'm not too fussed about that. But oh I've lost my microphone. Um what negated says, Hey, hello mate, you're right, thanks for joining the video. Um I can hear everything, so I can hear planes going overhead, I can hear cars going past on the main road, and next door have a really uh, loud dog, an Alsatian, and every time they let him out, he's fine unless he hears a noise, so if he hears me talking, you guys will probably hear the dog barking in this video, um, which, which is a bit annoying. So what I need to do is I need to get this place uh, better insulated, so you can see I've got a bit there, but I've... I only had a small bit. Uh, Russell says, hi Glenn, hello mate, you're right. Um, I need to insulate all these walls like really solid um, and then obviously get it all uh, plasterboarded. But apparently I need a special type of plasterboard like uh, otherwise it will get all mouldy in here. Um, I need a special moisture resistant um, plasterboard so I need to put that all around here. Apparently it's more expensive, obviously. And then obviously from that I can wallpaper it or paint it and stuff like that. And I can put some crypto bits up like some uh, Bitcoin. And then I can get up, like set up a proper uh, setup, you know, like a camera and uh, a ring light and uh, maybe a green screen here and pull it down. Um, yeah, and obviously then I could potentially make as much noise as I want. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I don't know, it's, it's still a work in progress. Uh, JMS Vlog says, Sup man, didn't realise you had watched any of my videos, uh, you're a lot bigger YouTuber than I am, so thank you for joining uh, JMS. Um, so today I was just going to talk about the markets really, um, and uh, give people an update with my Hashflare account, because in the last video, two people sent me messages saying, Glenn, you haven't gave us a Hashflare update, 
and I, I think just before I ended the video, I just quickly said, yeah, I've got this much, this much Bitcoin. Um, and I just thought, oh, I'll just show you guys. So while I'm still logged in, let's get into that. So as you guys know, Hashflare yet again doing another discount, 25% off. They're really, uh, really discounting the arse out of um, obviously their mining at the moment. Awesome to see the consistency. Um, yeah, JMS, what's going on? Your videos seem to, I think the last couple of videos you've done, you've sort of been really negative, like really down. Is that because your mind, I think you were saying in your last vlog that I saw, you were trying to sell your Antminer S9. And I actually did a video about it. If you go back, I actually did a video talking pretty much about you. Um, and and a lot of people felt the same way. Their ant miners are not as profitable anymore. Time you take into account, obviously, tax, electricity, and what you paid for the machine. Um, so they're feeling a bit bummed out, a bit negative about it. I think you should keep going with it, in my personal opinion, because the second that Bitcoin's worth, you know, 12, 14,000 again, then it becomes, you know, worthwhile doing. And I believe those machines will go back in price. Or wait until the Bitcoin does go up in price and then sell the machine. Um, I don't know, that's my fault. What What do you think? Um, I've seen it, yeah, it won't sell, especially since Bitmain has them a lot cheaper right now. I know they, um, last time I checked, they were like $1,200. Uh, uh, Bitmain, was it $1,200? Something like that with the power unit. It might have gone up or down now, I haven't checked for weeks. Gigabit says, how are you? Guys, we have a huge YouTuber in the uh, comments, so uh, everyone give him a big shout out. I hope you've subscribed to his channel. So is this the NJMS of your um, your uh, mining videos? I know you still have the uh, graphics cards, but I know that you seem to be heading more down the boxing route, like you've done a few boxing videos. I actually took part in a boxing match in front of a live audience um, a little while back, and I really uh, enjoy boxing now. Um, so yeah, I've sort of done it the flip way. I did videos about boxing, then went into cryptocurrency, and now you're doing it the other way around. Electric bill is killer right now. Went up to 17 cent per kilowatt an hour. 430 electricity bill last month. Jeez. And then, if you don't mind me asking, uh, JMS, um, what? Um, so you're saying your electricity bill's 430. One less take out. What would be your normal sort of electricity bill, and then that would we all know how much it's gone up by, but also how much Bitcoin, if you're open, to, you know, if you're free to say, how much Bitcoin have you mined in that month? Does it equate to more than $430 or is it less? You know, there's a lot of people that seem really bummed out about mining now and uh, it's not just, um, you know, the actual hardware side, GPUs, uh, hash flare, um, Genesis mining that everyone's like oh actually I think this is a scam I think you know this isn't right it's not profitable um, but I suppose mining never would be unless the price of a coin just continuously went up um, or it continuously it dipped up and down and the difficulty went up and down in line with that then obviously it would make it worthwhile but Obviously, at the minute, we're at this state where the price has gone down and the difficulty has still gone up. So it's like a double whammy of uh, uh, profitability um, deductions. Um, a up me duck, I can only mine one Econa, my seven. Gonna check JMS out. I'm into mining and cloud mining as well. Thanks, Glenn. Before I started, it was 12 kilowatts per hour. Then it increased with more electricity I used. $150, but normally in winter. So your electricity bill has gone up. Um, what's that? That's, that's got to be 380 $280, so $280, um, which obviously is uh, massive. And this is why, this is why actually... I actually chose, and I've done videos about it, I chose cloud mining because of that reason. I thought, right, well, if I do it through the hash flare route, yes, I'm not in control of it, and I'm not, it's it's not my own destiny sort of thing, but 
then I've got no outgoings. I pay this one lump sum and that's it. No more money comes out of my pocket month on month. Um, and that's the thing that put me off of doing, obviously, the ASIC mine. Um, but I don't know. I, I sort of wish, I still wish I had one. But um, if anyone's in, uh, in in America that wants to buy JMS's uh, <laughs> ASIC miner off him, you know, feel free to uh, buy. I think you've got it listed on eBay. How much are you selling it for now? Um, what well, we was going to check, see how much they are at the minute. So let's have a look. The Ant Miner S9. Uh, the hash flare fees are insane right now, like 70%, right? <coughs> yeah, um, obviously their fee is set. So actually their maintenance fee is the same every single day. But obviously the amount of Bitcoin they take away from you to cover that fee, the lower the price Bitcoin goes down, the more Bitcoin you need to cover that same fee every day. So um, yeah, in terms of percentage, it's always either going up or down depending on the price of Bitcoin. So I can see where people are saying it's not profitable or even to the extent where people are saying it's a scam. It's a scam! Um, I don't think it is a scam. They've been completely honest and transparent all the way through. The fact that they're doing these discounts shows to me that they're aware their end that they're not profitable. Their business model doesn't look attractive right now. So they're trying to do all these discounts, make their business more attractive um, to entice people to come on, but it, you know, they've done what forty percent, thirty percent, thirty percent, twenty five percent, and this is what I was trying to say to people. Not that I'm trying to entice them to go onto hash flare because I I don't want to mislead anyone down that path. But um, the more the more discount you can get today, if you honestly believe that Bitcoin is going to go up in value then you're going to get a very good deal now, but you won't get that deal later down the line. Even with Bitmain hardware mining, as JMS rightly pointed out, Bitmain are selling these $1,300 now. I remember going to buy one of these live on video, and it the price jumped within one day, within 24 hours. It, I remember I tried to buy it, and then it asked me for Bitcoin cash, so I logged out, I had to buy some Bitcoin through Coinbase, transfer it over to GDAX. No, was it GDAX at the time? I think it was GDAX. Convert it into Bitcoin Cash. And then I was going to send the money over. But by the time I did that, it sold out. Then when I went on the same website, 24, 48 hours later, I'd done a video saying, Bitmain S9s are back in stock. It got loads of views. Um, and the price went up. Oh, I can't remember, it was like 3000 I think it was $3,500 or something like that. And I thought, fuck, it's literally tripled in price. Um, and that was them just taking advantage of the hype, uh, which is, I suppose, rightly so. Is you know, their business model, they do what they want. But um, it just goes to show me that these prices right now are in line with, you know, the hype has died down a bit. But as soon as these become, you know, Bitcoin goes up in price and they're more valuable, these are going to go back up to two and a half, three thousand dollars again, and then they'll be sold out. And then you have to buy one off Amazon or eBay, a bit like what you did. Um, so I was trying to say to people, look, if you want to get involved in mining, technically, technically speaking, and depending on your honest belief, so if you think Bitcoin's going to stagnate for the next year and a half, two years, yeah, don't get involved in it. If you believe the price of Bitcoin is going to go down, don't get involved in it. If you honestly, in your heart of heart, believe for whatever reason that Bitcoin is going to have a run up, it's going to have a bull run, it's going to go up in price, um, now's the best time to get involved in mining because the equipment is cheap, uh, cloud mining is cheap, <clears throat> um, and once you've got it, you've got that hash flare for a year, Genesis mining for two years, and obviously the machine's yours, you own it outright. Um, so in my mind, now's the best time to do it. And as obviously you've said, JMS, that you bought yours for like three thousand or four thousand dollars. I can't remember. And now you're struggling to sort of get like you know eleven hundred for it. So you've lost obviously two or three thousand out there. Whereas if you'd bought it at these low prices, if we have another dip this time next year, the chance are you're going to get your money back on it. Um, 
unless obviously for some reason these are rendered useless by the release of another, you know, an Antmimer S10 that becomes like a, a, a 30 tera hash machine or something like that, which I, I don't know, could be in the works. If anything to go by the, um, uh, what's its face, um, the Ethereum ASIC miner, apparently they had those since before December and they've been running them since December before they've actually released them. So, um, you know, Bitmain are not stupid. They're, they're running these, they're mining with these machines four months, five months before they even hit the market. So, um, they could be mining with like a really powerful, you know, 20, 30 tera hash. I'm only, this is only speculation machine now that we may see come summertime obviously if there is a bull run they're going to say mm, right we've got this machine that's really powerful it's new um mining's now profitable right i reckon we could get away with charging eight thousand dollars for this machine um and i'm sure there'll be people out there and they will pay it they will pay it um at the time so i'm trying to find normally they have a like a page where you can view every miner that's I wonder how much uh was it the E3? E3 is up to two thousand and six dollars. It just seems like their prices just really fluctuate from day to day depending on these exchange rates here. Um if you guys remember what uh, a couple of weeks ago this ant miner E3 was eight hundred dollars um, now it's 2006. That's such a random price. All of them are. Look, 664, 579. Um, that doesn't say, sound to me like that's a marketing. Normally, to entice people, you would round it off like, I mean, 579 actually uh, sounds about right. But, you know, you would have it at 1999, you know, to make it more uh, visually appealing. Uh, but to me, it just seems like they've got an algorithm that when the price, when the exchange rates of these go up or down, so does the price of the equipment. So, uh, uh, JMS says, got a head out. Keep up the vids, man. Drop to like. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you for joining. Uh, I really appreciate that, as, uh, that you've taken uh, time out every day to watch my videos, a smaller YouTuber. So, thank you. Everyone say goodbye to JMS. Um, Dean says, as soon as XMR got rid of ASIC, the difficulty halved. Bitmain keep them until they're not getting any profit from them, and then they're going to sell them. Yes, they do. Uh, still $100 a month electricity. It cost me about $100 to get 110 from mining, but it did get £80 a week in January. Um, Dean says, see you. Yeah, I know. And this seems to be a trend that... Um, you know, not just JMS, but everyone, every person who has a miner, um, even someone who watches videos, um, who was it, is it John Smith, uh, you know, he's been posting pictures in the Telegram group saying like, oh yeah, I've just received my ant miner, uh, uh, what was it, um, Litecoin miner, and obviously he was really excited, he said, Glenn, I'm really excited about this mining um, and so would I be if I just bought this machine I'd start mining Bitcoin straight away I'd be excited about it but then you've got to look at it instead of with your heart with your mind um, you know and think okay right these these machines I'm going to have it running for a good year 18 months um, you know to uh, um, m be profitable be you know and it's going to be an expensive hobby if you're buying it like JMS has not that I'm trying to put JMS down um he you know he done exactly the same as what if if I could afford it I probably would have done it myself um buying it when it was high and then obviously trying to sell it when everything's gone down so um you know uh I feel for him and for a lot of people uh, it just goes to show, just because the price of Bitcoin went down, it doesn't just affect people holding Bitcoin. It affects the miners, uh, people that have bought the equipment, the manufacturers of these machines, GPU mining, um, YouTubers. Yeah, I know that's like, oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> obviously, like, YouTuber videos go down 
um, views and subscribers and likes and all that, that stuff all goes down when the price of Bitcoin goes down, which means obviously they're not earning as much advertising. So, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't earn any money from any of my YouTube videos. So, uh, that's never really bothered me and that's why I've probably maintained the mentality of keep, you know, because I enjoy doing them, to be honest. I'd, even if I didn't earn nothing from it for another six months, I'd probably still do them. Um, but anyway, that's enough mine. I wasn't going to talk about mining at all today. I was just going to show you my Hashflare account quickly. Uh, how long mining is selling their own miner to? Maybe now Bitmain will reduce their prices up. But that depends. How, I think they're quite expensive for their ones. Um, how long mining, let's see if they've just got an official website, before you continue, blah, 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 uh, I'm sure that's how everyone reads their uh, privacy terms and conditions through Google, have they actually, I remember the last time to buy one of these you had to buy Five. Gigabit says, hey, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate, thank you. First time in the Bit Cave. Um, I've got all the plug sockets that are all wired in. I don't know if you can see that, guys. You see that? It's all, all wired in. I've got a LED light above me, so I look bright and beautiful. I need to get it more insulated, though, because I can hear everything that's going on outside. That's why I keep looking, because... I can hear people walking miles away, but it sounds like they're walking to me. Come the fuck on, guys. Kick the like button. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up, guys. Uh, much appreciated. Um, so, yeah, I believe with this How Long Mining, that you had to buy so many in one hit. You couldn't just buy one. You had to buy five. Um, and at the time, they were really expensive. More expensive than um, Bitmain's. It's funny though, because a lot of people are like, have they actually got the prices on here anymore? I think they've. Da, da, da. Oh, it's unavailable. Get an alert. Damn. Unavailable. People have been posting like whether they're actually real or not, and um, there's all these uh, photos on uh, Twitter now of like, her oh, last laughs on you. Look, I have a real dragon mint in front of me, and and there's a picture of them with an ASIC miner and they're like um, getting, you know, I'm getting 20 terahash per second, whatever it is um, but the fact that they're having to do that <laughs> just really shows that obviously a lot of people have a lot, uh, don't have much faith in this product that it's actually real. Uh, yeah, Glenn is chill as fuck <laughs> 16 watch, 7 likes kick, kick it 16 terahash sold out 2500. Oh, is that the price? 2500. Sorry, all of them are saying unavailable, so no prices. But does that I wouldn't be concerned about whether uh, Bitmain are going to lower their prices, I'd be more concerned or more excited about the news of a new Ant Miner S9, and I wonder how much. I would love it if they released it sort of now, um, because obviously they'd have to bring it into a fairly lowish price point, um, maybe, but then it'd probably sell out, I suppose, but uh, Gigabit says they won't, they won't announce a new Ant Miner. Why do you believe that, Gigabit? I I think they will. I think they'll announce a Ant Miner S10 or something along those lines, um, and... I'm going to go out on a limb and say it will run at, I'm going to say, 21 terahash. <laughs> um, going to be an S10. I think they will. We'll see. 2,200. He could be right. He could be right. But we'll see. That's the exciting part. We don't know, do we? If we knew, it'd be really boring. <laughs> Unless you have made a lot of money. So, what I was going to talk about today is some of the coins that have really shone today. And um, a couple of the coins that really picked up some traction today was the uh, Bitcoin Cash. 
Uh, so good news if you mine Bitcoin Cash over Bitcoin. It's had a big pump today. Um, it's back up to $881, getting fairly close, only sort of, I'd say, $300 away from where it was, you know, steadily uh, for a while leading up to the big dip. The big dip. Um, Litecoin's up to $139 now, so we're almost at $140 again. Uh, Ethereum, $520, so we're way away from the $360 or something that it was at. Bitcoin, Bitcoin went up to eight one today, and then dipped back down, and we was at eight thousand and fifty or something like that. Now it's back up to eight one eighty, um, and then this has changed since I've done my thumbnail, the video, and time I came out here and set everything up, and that um, some of these have all changed. So I'm sorry if I misquote anything, but uh, at the time, out of my portfolio, the stuff that I've got anyway. Uh, Monero, which I've only got a small holding of, I think I've got about $30 worth, uh, Monero went up, it's been up 16.42% today, so you can see in this graph, it's had quite a big, let's go to 7 day, and you can see here, massive run up, it's gone from literally $200 to $232, like, just like that, um, which is good, that's what i um, this reminds me of when the market picked back up last time, um, and I said in a previous video again um, that you didn't. Sometimes a lot of the coins just go up, you know, with the price of Bitcoin. Some of them get stagnated and stay behind. Some of them pump at alternative times. So we, I remember, sort of the big five. We had like Bitcoin Cash seemed to pump first. Oh, this could be a trend actually. Bitcoin Cash seemed to pump first out of the top five. Then I would say it was. I'm gonna say. Ripple. Then I think it was Litecoin and then Ethereum. Ethereum had its own trend. That was the only one that sort of broke away from Bitcoin a bit. Um, obviously, it dipped really hard just now but before that a lot of the stuff was crashing and it sort of stayed where it was it, it had its own path um, which I found really interesting because it was one of the first times I've seen everything go down but apart from that coin um, but then eventually it caught up and it all went down anyway so uh, how much would it cost to make your own minor equipment it's got to be what to make your own do you mean a rig Ian like um, a PC rig or to make your own ASIC miner you would need like a warehouse of people and uh, you'd need to build your own processing chip I believe or something like that um, XVG lol yeah let's have a look at where Verge is today because um, where is Verge let's type it in XVG obviously I have that massive announcement yesterday it's down 11%. It's down to 66 cent. No, sorry, 6.6 .6 cent. So uh, obviously way down from its 11 cent that was at, almost halved, as that, which I'm so surprised about. And um, I tried showing in my video yesterday, actually buying a premium account with um, uh, Pornhub but it crashed on me on the live video and I didn't want to go through the, you know, go through it again because then it would flag up that I'm showing you guys porn. Um, <clears throat> which I'm sure some of you wouldn't mind. <laughs> More than buying a miner. Hey, and GPUs are sold out. Sold out. Keep on hodling. Hoddle. Um, so... I've lost my uh, my train of thought there. So yeah, we've had um, a couple of coins really sort of stand out today. Obviously, some of them um, pumping harder than others. There's this one called Pundi X. Never heard of it. That is not even worth half of one cent yet. But it does say it's circulating suppliers. 51 gazillion NPXS. Whatever that means. <laughs> um, Emma coin, Emery coin, 
$3.82. That only has a circulating supply of 41 million. So it's double uh, what Bitcoin's got. Had a massive, uh, it sort of stagnated and then it just shot up today. So uh, unless they've had some big news regarding their project or something. Um, they've had a presentation, blockchain business. It shows you how small this uh, community is. Because when Envian, that's right, I'm mentioning Envian. So what? What are you going to do about it? Um, they held a, they had some sort of conference or um, they spoke at a convention. And when they did, the price jumped up to like $1.20. Um, I can show you actually because it was its only time it was above the uh, ICO stage. Um, and it seems like that's what's happened here with this uh, Emre coin. They've had a convention or something and the price has just shot up. Now, I didn't know it had a convention. Um, I would assume that's people that they're speaking to and, you know, feeling hyped up about that coin and thinking, oh, yeah, actually, I think that's really good. A bit like an Apple conference. Uh, you know, when Apple are about to announce a new iPhone, they get everyone in a room, like all the world's press, and they say, this is the best iPhone we've ever made. Um, and we all watch it and we're all like, oh, my God, I need it, I need it. And the, the hype is peak at that point. Um, so you can see here, this this is what the what I'm talking about. It's, um, is that within three months? One month? No, that's not the one. This, I swear it's that one. Yeah, it's like one dollar. Oh, it's not. Let me get up to the top of it. But you can see here anyway on this line, this is one dollar twenty. So it must have been like one dollar thirty, something like that. But it happened for like. 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so I, I assume that was saying to do with them speaking at that conference and making people purchase it. But anyway, point is, it just goes to show you how um, small this community is of people that actually buy and sell these coins. Because for them to hold one conference with, you know, even if it was a couple of hundred people, which some of these are not, for the price to pump like that, those couple of hundred people must have all bought into the coin, or some of them anyway, um, and therefore creating a pump all of a sudden. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they should all have more conferences. <laughs> that would push the price up. Um, so I did you guys a video. I asked in the video one of my live videos about a week and a half ago, what video, uh, what uh, currency would you like me to look into? Um, you all, uh, there was about four people that all said Lisk, which I thought was really surprising actually because I've never heard any of you talk about Lisk in the past. No one's ever asked me about it. No one's ever brought it up. So yeah, it wasn't on my radar at all. Actually looking into the project, it's a pretty cool project. Um, I really liked it and it made me think actually I've really enjoyed learning about this cryptocurrency um, and obviously giving my own thoughts and opinions on it. Whether I'm right or wrong um, remains to be seen and the trouble with just doing that is that you haven't got the full picture, you haven't been there from the beginning. <clears throat> if someone came to me and said right okay what are your thoughts on Envy and I'd say well I remember three months ago they said they would do this and they didn't so that let me down. But they have done this, have done that, whatever. Um, whereas Lisk, obviously, really, I've only got their social media. Um, I searched some YouTube videos, which there weren't that many, um, and their official website, which obviously they're all going to say they're amazing, it's all good, and um, don't forget to retweet. But to actually get a, an idea of everything that's happened it takes a lot of research, like a, a lot of time. So... Um, it makes me appreciate you've got people like Doug Polk who looks into, like when he was looking into Verge and stuff, um, he's obviously done his due diligence. He's obviously gone through and looks at all the negative and the positive side of things 
dating back months and months, not just what's happened that week. So, um, you know, it, it is uh, unless you unless you're a part of it at the time, things just go over your head. Um, saying that, I did um, sign up for today randomly. Um, another one of uh, what's his face, John McAfee's plugs, and they actually openly said that. Actually, they said, "Oh yeah, we're, we're being promoted by." Uh, what's his face, J- John McAfee? Oh, no, there he is. Um, it's a token called BS Token. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yikes, I overlooked the infographics for the no BS crypto airdrop. Here it is. So yeah, this is the token he's talking about. No BS. So they're saying they're never going to use your DL for um, spamming, passing it on to other people, which I doubt. Um, but they were saying they're basically so if it's a <coughs> the way the business model is going to work is you pay nothing for the coin, giving it all away as an airdrop to begin with. Um, and no one person will receive more than 1%. So you're not going to have this person that owns tons and tons of it. So it should be quite decentralized. 10% reserved for the team. No one person will ever own more than 1%. The team's tokens are locked for 18 to 24 months. Reserved for random airdrops. Uh, reserved for the community. Uh, you earn tokens simply for joining our communities, leaving positive reviews, contributing to the no BS community by either posting, commenting, chatting, or in Discord, inviting others to join chat and creating more formal content, contributing other crypto content, contributing. So, um, yeah, I just thought, what a random. To me, even though I've read that, I still don't know what they're trying to achieve. I, I don't get it. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you guys heard of No BS Coin yet? Now, I actually signed up uh, to receive the free coins. So, um, really, I should be positive about them if, if I was out to shield stuff, but I'm not. I just signed up for it. I thought, coins for free... So I thought, fuck it, why not? Why not? So, I don't know. Head over to that if you want to sign up. I think you have to sign up before. And really, all it asks you for is your Ethereum address. Then it gives you more coins if you're willing to give your Facebook, Twitter, email. Uh, I think that's all they ask for. And that's it. And then it says you're done. You'll receive the coins in (laughs) two weeks. I don't know. Uh, So we'll see. We'll see what they're worth. And uh, what you can actually do with it. So, I don't know. But that's something that happened to me today. Uh, The other thing I wanted to talk about, actually, was um, Ian Bellina being hacked. Oh, actually, we'll do it through Twitter yet again. Twitter seems to be the way. It costs 100000 for McAfee to do that. Um... Let's uh, let's search. <sighs> oh, the trouble with doing videos late at night. Ian Bellina. So, if you guys are aware, which if you're following, you will. Um, they someone's hacked Ian Bellina's account, um, and we drew all his money. He had like. For I think about three million dollars worth of different coins and ICOs that he was holding, and they've gone in and taken all of it apart from some coin, um, which doesn't bode well, does it? The fact that they wouldn't even steal this coin off him says to me that it's not that valuable. <laughs> um, I don't know, or maybe they just really couldn't. Maybe the security was. Uh, but anyway, uh, so he's been hacked. He's had all his funds withdrawn. So I don't know how much of his portfolio has actually gone. I don't know if he's lost all 100% of it 
Um, I don't know, um, you know, if he actually, I assume he's been taking profits out as he's been going along. So, you know, he hasn't had a bad life from cryptocurrency up until this point. Doesn't mean it's right in any way. Obviously, the guys are complete, like the, the people that have hacked him, they're complete arseholes. Um, and I'm sure that if my YouTube channel becomes big enough one day, I will be the center of a hack scam and I will be absolutely devastated. One, just because of the thought of people getting something of mine and secondly, obviously, losing money. No one likes to lose money. I assume that's going to happen to me one day. A lot of my funds are either on, what's it, GDAX or uh, Binance. A lot of people always say, don't leave your money on uh, exchanges, but it's, I don't know, it says, see, it says to me that these YouTubers uh, or these, you know, <clears throat> fam you know, famous YouTubers, if they're getting hacked, if they really are, because we, let's just say we have to believe him. I mean, he's been quite transparent and honest up until this point, as far as we know. Why wouldn't, why, I've got no reason not to believe him. Um, do it, Glenn Coyne, get it to the moon. <laughs> what, pay John McAfee uh, $100,000 to promote my coin. Was it Verge, Verge French for penis fitting? <laughs> um, is that true? Verge in... French means English translation. He's right. It means penis. <laughs> awesome. I am going to have that in my head now. Every time someone says verge, every time I see advertising, I'm just going to think penis coin. <laughs> um, well done, Dean, for pointing that out. Uh, yeah, so anyway, he uh, Ian Bellina has been hacked. He's had all his funds withdrawn. Feel sorry for the guy. Bless you. And I want to actually put put this out there. Um, I, I know that Ian's never going to watch one of my videos. But then again, saying that, I, I think I said that about JMS as well. Um, he actually inspired me to get involved in cryptocurrency. I have to say, he is one of... I was watching loads of YouTubers, you know, I, was, I saw Superman, I saw Crypto Nick, uh, Trevon James, um, I also saw Crypto Daily, and I watched their videos, and none of them sort of inspired me to get involved in, I never watched one of their videos for, oh god, that really wants me to get involved in cryptocurrency. Ian Bellina's video did, I, I watched a video about... Um, Let's see if I can find it, actually. Let's plug his channel. Um, he done a video about how to get him started with ICOs and what ICOs were. And at the time, I had, I had no idea, like, uh, you know, what, what the hell's an ICO? And uh, why would it be good for me? Why, why would I get involved in that? I'd just buy Bitcoin and hold on to it. He done this video... Let's see if we can go right back. Uh, it'll be, what month are we in there? April, so it'll be about five to six months ago. Well, yeah, because that's how long I've been in cryptocurrency. So he inspired me. So it'd be around here somewhere. Um, I'm not going to find it now, am I? Uh, 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 might have been this one. It's quite a highly polished video. It wasn't one of these ones where he's just sitting there with a headset on. Yeah, this is it, I think. Yeah, this video. And no, it's not .com. It's something called blockchain. Blockchain is the most disruptive innovation in technology since the internet itself. Now we have to set our sights on the future. Where is the future going? What's the next, next disruptive technology? 
that next disruptive technology. I wonder who made this video for him, actually. <laughs> so, I hope you can hear me. I remember watching this video. It was longer than two and a half minutes, though, so I wonder where the rest of it's gone. It was like a... Oh, yeah, this, sorry, this is it. How to make millions with initial coin offerings. I think it's about a... I don't know, about a 20-minute, half-hour-long video. Oh, hour-long. And this video, this video made me want to get involved in, I remember watching this video in bed, I rung my friend Nathan up, and I said, Nath, check out this video. I sent him the link, he watched it that night, I rung him up and he said, yeah, I want to get involved and I want to be part of uh, ICOs, what ICO should we get involved in? And I remember my friend Nathan, he went on a rampage, he was like, he wanted to get involved in every ICO going under the sun, whereas I was more reserved and I said, well, actually, um, I'm going to do some research. And I, I hammered, you know, I hammered the research for mining ICOs because at the time I was like, it's a model I understand, I get it. Um, I don't know much about retail. I don't know much about health. I don't know much about the motor industry in terms of uh, block, how blockchain can help it. But I understood mining and I got it. Um, and I said to him, look, I really like this Envy and ICO and I think, you know, it's, it's going to be a good way of making money. And obviously, <laughs> all I've done is lost money on that and we're still waiting to receive dividends. So I may have completely called that completely wrong. Um, but we'll see in the next coming months if I was right or not hopefully fingers crossed I I am I still believe to this day because when once we received our tokens I remember my wife saying so when are you making money off this then when can we go out shopping with it that's all she says and I said oh it'll take a month you know it'll take ages because they've got to make all these containers with all this mining equipment um so I always, from the get-go, had in my head, I don't think they'd ever put a date on it. At, they have now, but I don't think I ever had, like, uh, a, a, in the white paper, like, we will start paying out on this date, or we will be mining with 20 units on this date. So I, in my head, I just always had, what's well, it's going to take them three to six months to build these things. Um, and then obviously they've got to deploy them around the world and then start mining with it and then pay us out the month after. So I always knew it was going to take months. So a lot of people, um, especially on the Envian Facebook page, they're getting a bit dubious, I don't know if that's the right word, a bit hesitant, um, getting frustrated, um, you know, when's this going to the moon, when Lambo, <laughs> um, when are we receive dividend payouts, why is there no updates, what's going on, um, but you know, you just got to, you just got to hang in there, once, once they start paying dividends out, and the profit starts to go up and up on a monthly basis, weekly basis, however they do it, all of a sudden, that token is going to go from 40 cent cent to, I don't know, I can't see where it would end, but <clears throat> like, obviously I'm not thinking stupid figures. I remember when the ICO was going on and I was a part of the group chat, people were like, don't sell your tokens for less than $50. If we all agree to $50 and no one else can have them, blah, blah, blah. Um, and obviously now they're selling for 40 cent, so... <laughs> completely uh, the opposite way but uh, oh, sorry. my only regret is I, I wish I'd waited I wish I waited till after the ICO um, and bought the tokens you know later and I think that's sort of made me feel like that with a lot of um, ICOs now um there's probably still a lot of money to be made in ICOs, but I believe the best strategy with them at the moment is to wait until they actually release whatever it is they say they're going to release. Wait for them to actually start having a working business model 
and then buy the buy the coins around that time because it seems like after the first couple of weeks or even a couple of days after a coin's released onto coin market cap, it tanks. Um, so there's literally no benefit in buying it at the ICO stage. Uh, Whereas you're better off waiting until it tanks and then pick up a load then if you really believe in that project. The only time where you will fail is if a coin is, say, up an ICO and they're saying, right, we're going to sell our token at 50 cent if you buy it on this date, yada, yada, yada. Then it gets released and it just goes to the moon straight away, you know, like $10, $11 or whatever. And you're thinking, fuck. Why didn't I get them at the ICO stage? But that's the gamble you take, I suppose. But the general trend seems to be massive pump for a couple of days, um, maybe a week or two, and then obviously it tanks. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Frederick says, yo. Hi, Frederick. Thanks for joining. I'm sure you'll tell me something that I've done wrong that I have to correct in a second. Uh, it takes time for them to go up. Two weeks after ICO, the coin was 10% or lower, then it gets better. A man to do that. So, uh, yeah, this this video really inspired me. I want to give a big shout out to Ian Bellina. Uh, probably one of the best videos I've seen him in. Uh, his other videos actually put me off a bit because... A lot of them seem... The thumbnails look really good. He's got really good thumbnails. Um, I mean, it's just the same picture over and over again with some writing on it. Um, but yeah, if you look at some of his content, the live videos, sometimes I can't hear what he's saying properly and sometimes I can't see, what, see him properly, um, which doesn't make for great viewing. Um, oh, in this one, he hasn't actually got his headset on. When he had his headset on, his sound was really muffled and I couldn't really hear him properly. But anyway, obviously he's become a millionaire and he's led a good life since doing this. Uh, he's up to 117,000 subscribers now. Um, he's put all his information out there on the line. You know, like I said, he's 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 trying to help people invest in ICOs and then people have taken advantage of him and his situation uh, to profit themselves which obviously is uh, <clears throat> is um, scum really but that's the world we live in I suppose and I'm sure it will happen to me now what was interesting is that sorry I completely digress there a lot of people pointed out oh it's funny how he got hacked the day that or the day before the tax bills due. Uh, so I wonder if he declared all of these cryptocurrencies as part of his tax, um, but then they were stolen after. Or did he just um, decide, you know what, I don't want to pay a tax on <laughs> two and a half, three million dollars worth of gains in the space of about four or five months. Should I pay... Um, should I try and avoid the tax by saying I got hacked? So, but he posted a po uh, another article saying that um, <coughs> saying that he can't really talk about the matter anymore because it's been passed over to the police. Um, so it's become a investigation, so he's not allowed to talk about specific uh, incidents that happened. So we just have to believe and assume that what he's saying is is true so that was an interesting story uh what else have we got for you guys uh what was the other story oh god sorry um we've had a few people call predictions of when this ball run's going to happen so Tom Lee, Thomas Lee, he was on CNBC Fast Money and he was saying that uh, he expects a bull run uh, to happen with Bitcoin once all the uh, tax dates, tax has been paid, I believe April the 17th, which was yesterday. 
So if you're in America, please comment. Have you actually paid all your tax on all your cryptos? Be honest with yourself. Actually, don't declare it on this channel. Please don't say that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If, he, if obviously, his um, predictions are anything to be believed, we are going to see a bit of a bull run, um, really, any, any time from now. Uh, still my belief that I've, I'm thinking mid-May. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I was watching a video today and they were talking about the price of Bitcoin um, and how that once it hit a bottom last time, uh, it stagnated for about a year and a... It was about a year and two months, I'd say. Um, it was just stayed the same price continuously. Now, when we look at this graph, obviously from quite a distance, you can see here that it's gone up and then we've got the big dip. And obviously we're at this level now, still way above obviously where it's come from. I mean, if you take where the bottom hit there, you're talking about 6K. Um, I believe it went under 6K um, at one point. But obviously that makes... Uh, a massive difference when down here you're talking about 500 to 1k um, or 600 sorry 500 there ish about but we haven't been in this area for a very long time if you look at it, a lot of people are predicting obviously that we go on this big ball run again but um, we haven't actually been in this space very long it's been a very short period of time um, but a lot of people are saying, oh, well, it's cryptocurrency. It goes up every day or down every day. It's so volatile. So the fact that we've been stagnated for like two months now, they're sort of implying, well, because of that, when it does go up, it's going to go up hard um, and it's going to go up quick. So, uh, yeah, that's yet to be seen. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to have a bull run this month or next month or quite shortly? Uh, I believe it's going to be sort of, mid to end of May, like I say, if, if one cryptocurrency has a conference and it boosts the price of that coin up, uh, this, um, I can't remember what the name of it is, the cryptocurrency summit thing or whatever, there's going to be speakers from almost every coin there, or you know, like a lot of the big coins and the up and coming ICOs, and they're all going to give presentations in front of people, they're all going to talk about it live. They're all going to have like a stand there, I'm sure, where people can buy and get involved. Um, and when that happens, I think all the other, all the other cryptocurrencies are all going to shoot up in value. So that's good news for the normal person like us. I would love to go there and film it, but unfortunately I can't. Pool Hub will help because of the transactions. Uh, yeah, it'd be good if they do get a lot of transaction volume because then it does show that that coin can work as a currency to be used to buy entertainment things. Um, Dean says, and ads for XVG looks good. Ads. I don't know what that means. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Pornhub's a big deal, I think, anyway, to have them on their side. Um, whether it's exclusive for a set period of time, I don't know. But uh, that'd be interesting to find out. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, unless you guys can think of something before I go. What time is it? It's gone 11 now, so it is getting past my bedtime. Um, so, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video from the Bit Cave. Please comment suggestions of what I should call this cave. Crypto Cave, Bit Cave, uh, Bit Glen Shed, Bit Glen Cave, I don't know. Something. Um, let me know what you guys think. What's Dean posted? Adverts on Pornhub. Uh, in a bit. Dark Killer Crypto says all of those people anonymously popping it up, propping it up. Ha ha ha. Sleep well before. Use Pornhub, haha, <laughs> just messing. Um, I would do, but I... <laughs> I shouldn't say really, but... Um, 
Right, so that's it from me, guys. Thank you for joining the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps promote the channel in some way or another. I'm not sure how. Um, also, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Um, and look, we're at an hour. Oh, I could have got it under one hour. Um, we've got 14 people liking, so I assume we're going to have 10 to 12 likes, hopefully, the wank shed. <laughs> I won't be doing any of that out here, I can tell you that, because, a couple of reasons. One, it's uncomfortable out here. Two, it's cold. Three, there's moths everywhere. Four, there are windows. You can see there, I've put the shutters down, but there's a little window there. There's another one over there. There's one this opposite side of me so I've got quite a few windows and my next door neighbours can see through into this and so can them neighbours so you'd have to be pretty brave or stupid to uh, do something like that anyway enough about masturbation why are we talking about that um, don't forget to head over to Instagram, Facebook and Twitter all with the name BitGlen, or you can follow the Super Chat uh, in Telegram. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys then. Thanks for joining the video. Thanks for all your feedback. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, I really appreciate all of it. And I look forward to seeing you guys probably tomorrow, if not Friday, for the next video from BitGlen. Oh, give me some more comments as well on a you know a cryptocurrency or uh, an ICO or something that you would like to see me talk about again. Doing that video was a fucking pain in the ass, but I think the actual level, the quality is so much better. It's got background music. I've put sort of uh, animated clips in the background. I can sort of drag and drop files whenever I want so I did like doing it it just took so much longer than doing this live video and I think that's why I like talking because I'm thinking do you know what when I click stop streaming that's it my bit's done I've got the easiest bit I just sit there and talk um, whereas when you edit a video you have to sit there and dissect every little section of it, it takes hours and hours um, I'm sure I'd get faster if I was doing it, but I've always said I'd like I've like I've got this video uh, series in my head, and I want to do like a review on every single coin in the top 100 coins, um, and then I can say I'm pretty well advised about all the different coins that are going on, and obviously I've done a video for each one. It's going to be a slog, but I'd like to sit down and do that. Maybe record three or four in one day. Um, have the intro and outro exactly the same, just changing the content in the middle. Um, and then, yeah, upload them. Get YouTube to automatically upload them once a day. I don't know. That's how I'm toying with. Is that something you guys would like to see? More videos like the Lisk Review? Um, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, Dwarf Killer says, ha ha ha, XVG, 100 coin challenge. I don't know what that means. Uh, sleep well, use Pornhub, just messing. <laughs> so that's it from me, guys. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you on the next video. Bit Glenn. Bye.